Well, hello, YouTube. Uh, name is Joe. We're going to be talking Kubota B Series uh, Speed Control Cruise Control Kit. Uh, and so I'm uh, going to kind of talk about what it takes to install this. Um, this is not an installation video. I struggled way too much for that, but just kind of what it looks like. So that if you're looking to add this system on, um, what are the parts and pieces, and then uh, um, a uh, quick how-to, and then we're going to do a test run and see if it actually works. So I'm going to be flipping you guys around a lot and uh, so that you can see the underside of it and see the top side. From my understanding, uh, speed control kit, cruise control kit was, was available from the dealership and could have been purchased pretty reasonably uh, at the time of purchase. Um, I was able to find this on eBay. I paid, including shipping, I think it was like $65. Uh, and so I felt pretty good about that. Uh, of course, I haven't even tested it yet. But what they did was they sent me the parts, the components, um, and, then, and then these directions. And so they've got some step-by-step, -step, and they're not very good, okay? So probably a, a mechanic could do it. And then this is just basically the uh, uh, schematic drawing of how it needed to be assembled. It was tough to deal with. You've got lines that would go to fasteners and pens. And, uh, and really, uh, without mechanical aptitude, I don't know that a person could have done this job. Um, but, uh, so let's, let's, let's look at things. So right now we're gonna look at the top side of it. You notice the steering wheel is off of it right now. Uh, to gain access to pulling this all apart, I had to uh, take off the steering wheel. Uh, there's an instrument cluster, and then there's a single screw that holds on the body of this bottom housing. Uh, so this it, right here is your parking brake tab. And this is the speed control tab. Um, and so you can see that there is push rods for each one of those. And then this is your, your throttle here. And so that gives you a look at all the bottom side. Uh, let me pull you guys off the camera mount. We'll get a little closer. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to really kind of figure out what's going on here because uh, they pivot at the same point there and there's kind of a, a key way that you have to put these bars onto. Uh, and then this has that spring there to kind of lock things out. Uh, and there's not a lot of clearance on the back side of, let me add some light there. There's not a lot of clearance on, I'm trying to add you guys some light there. There's not a lot of clearance on the back side of that fuel tank. So there's only really one way that these things will go. Uh, and so since they're pivoting the same direction, that's what we got. Um, and so figuring out which way the springs worked was a little bit of a challenge because uh, you got to hook that around there. See if we can focus, focus there. Uh, so you got to spring around there and then you can see how those kind of key on. So you got to kind of rotate those around. Uh, let's go down below. And down below, this is what things are looking like. Uh, and like I said, I'm making this video only because I didn't find a single video that had any of this on here. So this right up here is the speed control lever that we added on. That is gonna be on the inside tab. And that comes down to this fin. Um, if I can work the throttle here, you can see that lever right there has a flat plate on it. And then I push that down. The idea is I push that down and then I can trigger those teeth up against that. And that's supposed to hold the hydraulic unit in place. Uh, this right here is your parking brake lever. And so that still works as normal, but now it pivots off this plate up here. You can see that the kit came with some pens, cotter pens and fasteners that were necessary. Uh, another add-on that we had to add, and this will not be as easy to see, but 
we had to add this plate right here. Um, what this did was this attaches both the left and right cutter brakes, uh, but when they're, when they're hooked together, it will, it will disengage this whole unit. So as soon as I hit those brakes, it will cut the, uh, the cruise control kit loose. So let's back up a little bit. So that is what things look like underneath. So I think we're gonna put the steering wheel on real quick. We're gonna leave the dash off of it in case we gotta do any kind of adjustments. And then we are going to uh, give this thing a test run and see if it behaves uh, like I'm hoping it will um, or, or not. So let's see if uh, let's see if it'll disengage. So I'm supposed to be able to just push on the brake. There we go. We're stopped now. We're getting ourselves going again. Now I'm at full speed. Push this tab down again. That's it, guys. Uh, got everything put back together. Uh, little trim tabs on the parking brake and uh, speed control uh, put in. Uh, I, I guess I'm pleased. Uh, it was uh, it was uh, not too bad. It was probably I would say a couple hours of uh, trying to figure out this and that, and then it starts to uh, it's like putting a puzzle together. It starts to make sense. Uh, the question is why. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be doing a brush hog job uh, this summer for some people, and they're about eight miles away. Uh, and so I have to tractor all the way over there, and then it will probably be, I'm guessing, a 10-hour job. It's quite a big field. It's mostly just two, three-year-old choke cherries, honeysuckles, that kind of thing. So, so not real heavy duty. But it would be nice to be able to uh, just kind of cruise control, at least traveling over there. Uh, probably not so much out in the field, but to be able to do a little bit of cruise control. Uh, a couple times a year, I will drive, you know, a couple miles down the road. And so even to get up to those highway speeds, <laughs> road speed, uh, and be able to install that cruise control 
would would be nice. Uh, takes a little bit of effort off my 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 foot, my hip, and my back. Um, you know, and then I can uh, you know stand up if I need to to kind of stretch. Maybe not at full speed, but I think you guys get the idea. Um, so uh, that was it. Uh, it was an eBay item. If I remember, I will try to put the eBay link that I used. Uh, if not, you just search cruise control uh, on eBay for, for the Kubota B3300, and that will take you there. And I'm sure that would work for other B series as, as well. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys. And uh, uh, yeah, look forward to using this. Bye now.